Hello, I'm Jeremy Carr from Intel, and I'm here to bring you the latest Intel Graphics Performance Analyzer news and updates. The 2020.2 release has added new features in Graphics Frame Analyzer, Graphics Trace Analyzer, and Graphics Monitor, as well as enhanced functionality for DirectX applications in the Intel GPA framework. Highlights in this release include expanded support for event tracing for Windows providers, otherwise known as ETW providers in Graphics Trace Analyzer, additional configurations for sampling intervals for Intel Graphics Metrics, and support for an extended set of Intel Graphics Metrics in Graphics Monitor. Our first update is Graphics Trace Analyzer ETW providers. This release includes expanded support for ETW providers in Graphics Trace Analyzer. ETW providers generate event data during a trace capture, being able to view all events on the same timeline allows you to correlate events, giving insight into performance details. To add an ETW provider, open Graphics Monitor, click on the Options button, click the Trace tab, then click the ETW Providers tab. GPA automatically detects all the providers that are registered on the operating system and provides a list. Click on the dropdown and select a provider from the list, or type the provider's name or GUID to narrow the list. You can also subscribe to custom providers that are not registered by typing their GUIDs into a bar and pressing enter, thus adding them to the list of activated ETW providers. For each provider, you can modify the mask in the attributes column to set the bits in the mask so that you capture only the events you need to analyze. View how those events show by opening Trace Analyzer and viewing events. One further point about the ETW provider functionality, Clicking the Revert button in Graphics Monitor reverts the list of activated providers back to the default list. Our next update is Configurable Time Sampling. This release makes it possible to configure the sampling interval for Intel Graphics Metrics in Graphics Monitor. Previously, the system-wide time-based GPU metrics toggle allowed only two modes, On, which collected metrics per frame, and off, which collected metrics every 400 microseconds. Now we have greater flexibility in terms of controlling metrics collection with granularity all the way down to a 12 microsecond interval. You can select frame to capture frame data, or you can choose one of the time interval options to capture a trace. For smaller intervals, a message will pop up due to the greater amount of data being collected. Choose an interval and capture a trace. After the trace is captured, open Trace Analyzer you can see that the change to 50 milliseconds was applied by opening the trace capture, selecting any GPU metric, zooming in, and selecting a metric sample to see the exact duration of that interval. The final update we discussed in this video is extended set of metrics. This release extends the set of Intel graphics metrics in Graphics Monitor. Open Graphics Monitor, click on the Options button, and click the Metrics tab. Open the Intel specific metrics section, Formerly, Graphics Monitor showed only the Render Basic metric set. Now, selecting a different metrics group changes the viewable data. We can subscribe to various metrics. In this case, we chose the STC PMA stall metric set. Then, if we change to a metric set which does not contain this metric, Render Basic for example, the STC PMA stall metrics become gray. Now, open System Analyzer. The metric set control here is now synchronized with the control we just saw in Graphics Monitor. We chose Render Basic in Graphics Monitor, and here you can see that Render Basic is also activated in System Analyzer. And if we change to the Rasterizer and Pixel Backend metrics set here, we can go back to Graphics Monitor and see that Rasterizer and Pixel Backend is also activated there. For more information on the Intel GPA 2020.2 release and to download GPA for free, please see the links in the description. Remember to like this video and subscribe to the Intel Software YouTube channel for more Intel GPA news and updates. Thank you for watching.